Oh, okay. Good morning. How is everyone? Oh, just getting settled. Okay. So this talk is called uh, Sun, Soul, S-O-L, and Soulless Organic Portals. Now, it's even more correct to call them spiritless. They're just the body bag, no spirit, no uh, high dimensional nature. I've got many videos explaining, you know, in depth, very much defining it all. That's not this video. This video, I just wanted to add on the idea that um, how are they soulless? Well, in Spanish, you know I'm all in Europe. You, you all know I'm in Uruguay, and in Spanish there's the word S O L, soul, S O L, which is the word for the sun. So when they say you know the sun, they don't say the sun like we do in English. They say the soul. They say, oh, you know, the soul is hot today. The sun is hot today. So, and what's funny is this is actually connected. Now, to soullessness. Now, um, I've already mentioned Stuart Hameroff's um, theory. He's the uh, co-director of Consciousness Institute. He's the guy, the anesthesiologist from the What the Bleak Do We Know Down the Rabbit Hole 2006 documentary. Remember that documentary with Dr. Quantum, the double slit experiment when that first got famous from that movie. So that was back in 2006, long time ago now, it's 14 years ago. So he has actual theory. Now theory, remember, is not guessing. Theory is not postulation. It's, it's actual theorem, like he's got even like mathematics associated with it, right? So it's not, you know, just um, speculation. Speculation and theory are different. So he's not just speculating, he's got actual theory. And he says in his theory that the soul is in the microtubules, which is the level below the neurons, the brain cells called the neurons, remember? Neuroscience, neurons, neurons that fire together, wire together. Then there's another layer, and that's like 10 to the power of 4. Then there's another layer, another like 10 to the power of 4. You've heard Ray Kurzweil say this as well. Um, below the neurons called the microtubules. Now this is what we call the quantum mind. That is what they do not have access to. Recently I made a video, it's still got to be uploaded, it's trapped on my old computer for now, called uh, Photonic su Supercomputer State Mind, or an, you know, multiple state, like a photonic supercomputer, like a photonic computer, right? There's multiple state calculations versus the organic portal electric single state mind. You see it like electronic computers versus photonic computers, if you all understand the difference, uh, where the photonic computer does multiple state calculations at once. The electronic computer only does one calculation at a time. Yeah, now you see it, right? You see that's exactly how their minds work. All right, very funny, very interesting. I got it. I got it again. So that's hitting the nail right on the head. And you'll notice this straight away that they're so slow like that. Even the best organic portals, uh, you know, that make good scientists and stuff because they're very pragmatic. Um, they're still in a single state electronic mind, right? Let alone there's no vision, blah, blah, blah. Reptilian hindbrain medium uh, cerebellum rate of evolution, right? You see it all now, right? It's connecting. Okay, so you see their speed of thought compared to, for instance, mine and my multiple state uh, sort of thought and how I'm, you know, <laughs> always struggling to get my multiple state ideas into a, a single streamlined sentence. You can see this now, right? So you can see the speed of thought and, and the calculation if you can see this stuff. I see it very quickly. Um, so I know this is correct. Um, now, 
So Stuart Hameroff has this idea that the soul is in the microtubules. Now, I laughed at that because I thought, no, it's not in there. It's an imprint. The microtubules will have like an imprint nature, and it's not exactly there trapped pragmatically, okay? So he's basically got it, but I just twist the idea a little bit more. So he has the idea that the soul is in the microtubules. So, and all this is is the quantum mind, right? That's when we access our higher self. And this has got to do with photonic state. Now, the state of photons compared to electrons is, is not much difference. If you've researched into this. However, there is difference. Now, electrons, to me, electronic state is more of a, a surface crude electrical light nature, and when we get into the photonic state of the universe, it seems to border on um, not only multiple state calculations, but that is because it's integrating higher dimensional information. And you've heard me talk about the dimensions. If you haven't, or we'll look at my video like uh, Organic Portals, cannot feel universal energies, where I discuss a little bit of the dimensions. If you really want to go deeper into it, you should, and you guys are ignoring it, that you should be watching Rise of Five's Goldring Game of Enlightenment and Abundance, because most of what I know about the dimensions has come from him, not all of it, plus I've added onto it by saying each energy, like chi energy, is fifth dimensional, kundalini is fourth dimensional, and so on. I've added on to it, actually. But most of what I learnt was uh, from that series, because he's very, very well uh, worded the dimensions and how to understand this, and through hundreds of videos. So I can't, you know, take hundreds of videos and really say that now. That's why I direct you towards the Gold Ring Game of Enlightenment and Abundance, his series, because there's hundreds and hundreds of videos so that you can thoroughly understand the dimensions. And I've uploaded that, I've got a whole playlist of my favorite videos of his on my um, channel. And they all have low views. What are you guys doing? You're not putting in the effort, so you're not going to understand it. The only reason I understand it all is because I've put in the effort for 10 years now, thoroughly, every day. So you've got to put in the effort to understand. It just doesn't come at the click of a finger. All right? Anyway, so... The reason I say the title of this video is because there is indeed a connection, you see, between the sun, which is called soul in Spanish, so I've just put that in the title as well, and then soullessness. So access to the photonic quantum computing understate mind means if you don't have access to that, then you know you have a type of soullessness you have less access to soul to your soul it said you go up through the crown you know into your soul template and i just wanted to connect this because in i think indians they know as well um like that pt he has a few videos you know pt uh from pinks pinks's channel she's a girl from the gold coast in australia as well it turns out and she interviews that PT guy, I think he's Indian, it appears to me he's Indian, he does all these Indian philosophy things, and even he said in a video, um, you know, soul is connected on the level of sun, and this is well known as well, so I just wanted to add this to the pile of organic portal videos quickly, because um, some people might not have made this connection, so what I'm doing here, as I always do, as I always do in every video, is up the ante, upgrade the speak, and connect even more dots, don't I? So you've heard people say bits and pieces, I just wanted to connect this all for you guys. Yes, that's why you should probably be thankful for me, hey? And leave the like button, because it's a one second press. Please like the video, then this gets out to more people. So, on the level of sun is you know, photonic level and this quantum state mind level. Now, you know, there's something, there's some more to this, there's more to this, um, but that's the general idea of this, that, um, you know, there's, it's a state of soullessness when you're just on the surface, this is just what we call third dimensional existence, second dimensional existence, this is, yes, lower vibration, lower density, 
um, or thicker density, more dense you might say, where light is slowed down and vibrating less quickly. That's, you know, the idea of dimensions is densities. But, you know, the dimensions are not just uh, layers of manifestation of light or densities, they're also worlds within worlds. <clears throat> then I've also explained uh, these energies, the universal energies, like uh, I've said, and I'm the first one in the world to say this, mana energy is second dimensional nature energy. Mana. You've heard mana? All the islanders know all about mana. They think it's prana, some of them, but they're not correct. It's mana, what they're feeling, that's second dimensional. Now the second dimension, or the lower dimensions, have the effect of grounding out the higher dimensions. So in mana is all the other energies. It's, it's kind of like a coincidentia oppositorum state, um, where you have down dimensional creation, prana is tenth dimensional, let me go through it, and you'll see that mana actually has the collection of all the energies, um, but it is its own thing, it's mana, it's thicker, it's more nature energy, it's um, like volcanic energy, volcanic rock energy. Then there is the third dimensional, orgone. You've heard of orgone, making, people making orgone pyramids. What this does is line up the scalar integration of higher energy, or the third dimensional field. And I'm the first one in the world to ever say that, the only talk out there that is, you know, the, the initial guy who came out with the orgone theory talk on YouTube, he was saying, oh, it's known as chi or prana. No, incorrect. It is orgone. It is not chi. It is not prana. It is not kundalini. They're all different and from different dimensions, you see. And that's why you should probably subscribe to my channel, because nobody else in the world has ever said this. And it's not going to be the first novel thing, I, uh, the last novel thing I say either. So subscribe, guys. Um, you know, mana is second dimensional, then you have orgone. Orgone is third dimensional scalar wave or scalar field energy. It, it's like the, the, it's like the, um, the capsule energy. Uh, third dimension is a zonal reality. Okay? Then you have the fourth dimensional energy, which is kundalini. This is why a lot of kundalini people often uh, do not proceed to go up to chi, and they get a little dark and they get trapped and um, get you know invaded by fourth dimensional entities like uh, even up to the nature of reptilian stuff so that's because they're playing around in that playground and unknowingly from a higher dimension so as you move up dimensionally you're more knowingly uh, able to see the lower dimension so then you have kundalini which is fourth dimensional very subtle tickle on the spine and all that yep then you have fifth dimensional, you know, thermodynamic chi, right? It's thermodynamic related as well. It's metabolistic energy, it's movement energy, chi. Then you have um, seventh dimensional reiki. The sixth dimensional energy is very related to orgone um, because the connection to the third and the sixth dimension because of the uh, geometry dimension is the sixth dimension so when you're talking about the scalar field or third dimensionality you know it runs on the uh, geometry of the sixth dimension so they're very intertwined then you have reiki which is seventh dimensional this is like the rays the magneto ray and you have that lady magneta pixie on youtube she does all those videos about the platinum ray the this the that color ray those colors and why you see a lot of hippies wearing tie-dye shirts that seventh dimensional reiki energy reiki is not just about symbols but yeah i know about the reiki symbols get off it get on to what i'm talking about feel the energy itself don't worry about the symbols and what it is is this uh basically like fluoro colors and that's why you get a lot of hippies wearing tie-dye shirts is that that's expression of making it to heavenly, heavenly seventh dimensional Reiki energy. And it feels light. It's much lighter than Chi. Then you have Diksha. Diksha is eighth dimensional. And Diksha is orchestration energy. Right? So the eighth dimension is code coordination, 
that chooses which 7th dimensional Reiki Ray will be installed and then implemented upon, you know, the 5th dimensional living light layer. And in the 4th dimension, energy goes tangential. That's why you can get a lot of 4th dimensional Kundalini aspirants get caught in certain victim mentalities and certain emotionalities, right? That's all 4th dimensional emotionality and tangential energy. And it can go on infinitely, so you can get trapped there. The Dark Masters do not know beyond the four ways of the fourth dimension, it said. So Deeksha, back to Deeksha. Deeksha is eighth dimensional. This is code coordinative. If I do Deeksha on you, I, what happens is I go beyond the Reiki rays and I stop pushing Reiki rays into you. And you'll feel like, I'll do that first. To you get you, I'll get you open from Kundalini and then I'll start pressing Chi into you with my hand and Chi does a lot of unblocking, and then what I end up doing is pushing in the seventh dimensional Reiki energy into you, and what the Reiki is, is you'll start feeling really nice. You're like, oh, how is Ben making me feel so nice? Because I'm a Reiki master as well. I can do all the energies. I'm properly multi-dimensional. But then after I, I don't know, maybe we're half an hour into the session where I'm healing you, and you know, then I'll start to do Diksha. Once I have you feeling nice from the from the Reiki, I'll start to do Diksha. And Diksha is I'm actually orchestrating cellular structure, um, neurons, like I'll be positioning your neurons. I'll be taking a neuron from one connection to another neuron and changing the dendritical connections. That's Diksha. It's code coordination. It's coordinative energy. Then there is the ninth dimension of the time waves, like Terence McKenna's time wave zero oscillation. That's ninth dimensional. Then there is the tenth dimensional prana or pranic airs, pranic energy. Right? Indians uh, have a lot of philosophy on this, so you can look into my website or just look into Indian philosophies on the meditation page in Conscious Zen of got several articles on, on prana for instance as well um so then you get to 10th dimensional prana and prana is very subtle so you know how kundalini is the subtle tickle in the spine well prana is like even way way more subtle very very hard to feel and it's golden love of the white light field so organic portals cannot feel any of these universal energies and on the level of soul is where you begin to connect to these energies. That's where, you know, the photonic field is the backdrop, the backdrop of our reality. Let there be light, right? And so there are the stars who pump out, you know, the photons, right? So I just wanted to connect this, that uh, when they're not laying back on their bed of light, as I've called it, aka yep, your light body how many times i've said that that only their ego that's why they're so psychopathic they're not the id they're not the light body they don't have the the id is the steward of the light body the ego is the steward of the physical body so they're only the physical body only the ego they don't have access to a higher nature and a higher self the light body which is multi-dimensional However, you know, the first way you explain the light body is saying, you know, it's photonic, right? And you lay back on your bed of light. And in that, you might, you might not realize it at first, but the photonic state is a multiple state. So it's like multidimensional. You see it? So there we go. Just wanted to connect sun, soul, and solace organic portals.